हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू रेसिंग अकेडमी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज रिसेंटली आस्ट विच इज वन ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट आस्क मी सर हाउ कंपनीज बेसिकली कैच दी फेक एम्प्लॉयज विद द बैकग्राउंड वेरीफिकेशन हाउ इट इज डन वट आर द डिफरेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर एंड आई एम गोन डिस्कस अबाउट माई पर्सनल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई हैव सीन पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव बोथ द सिनारियोज राइट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट आई नो मेनी ऑफ यू विल हैव दिस क्वेश्चन की सर विच डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दी बैकग्राउंड वेरीफिकेशन हाउ एक्जैक्टली इट इज डन विच कंपनी डू दैट राइट एंड इफ इट फेल्स गेट फेल्स वट एक्जैक्टली हैपन टू यू and if got passed what exactly will happen to you how much time it takes and i'm going to discuss about a very important thing also ki do you have to add this fake experience and everything into this all these things we are going to discuss let's get started let's go with this okay so first of all we'll discuss what exactly is a background verification right point number 1 it's a standard process of course see i remember uh, in service based companies most of the time service based company and product based companies right i remember in essential right it was done in cognizant it is done few of my friends working in tcs they also have it right during the verification what exactly they ask is basically the personal documents and i know i remember they have asked about uh, the aadhar card pan card my photo my degrees information right so what exactly they want to verify they want to verify if you are a genuine you have a degree they want to verify your previous employer they want to verify do you have the pf account or not do you have the bank account or not you have a salary account or not you have a letter which is given to you as experience letter or not if you have a previous experience or not all these things basically is verified by the third party contract that is the most important thing you need to remember i remember the name is auth or something which is where these are third party contracts people who will basically do your background verification so what you need to do is they will basically give you a portal whenever you join a new company right they will give you a portal of third party where you have to upload all these documentations with a time constraint i think they will give you some time constraint also that okay within 7 days 10 days you need to upload so what i have done i have uploaded all my documents and everything and after that basically you know what happened the thing is that they basically call everyone i mean i remember one of the person who came to my home for my home verification one of the person basically came to my previous employer also even when i have joined my first company as essential the person basically email to my talent recruiter in the college itself so college they have verified they have emailed that yes pramod has worked or not all the information they have asked and until they have got the confirmation uh, they have not verified the background verification so it is a very serious process which i have seen personally they take it very seriously and uh, what happens is if it is your first time it will take time but after that when you ch- try to jump new and new company right they will ask for the previous employer details also like your pf detail your salary slips and your multiple things like for example your degree and everything right maximum type of data they already have sometimes they have it sometimes they don't have it because sometimes the contract company changes also right so this is what exactly will happen in the background verification they will verify your degree your information your previous employer and everything now i'm going to talk about a very important think ki if should we add the fake employee or sh- fake experience and what thing and what happened to those employees okay so i remember in my last two last company there was a positive scenario first of all i need to tell you a negative scenario both of them i need to tell you for the negative scenario what i have seen is i remember we joined a new company essential right after that 23rd or 22nd day right somewhere around one of my friend who was a very good friend he was one year older than me i remember right he said okay i am resigning from my position and uh, i am basically not joining from tomorrow i said okay what happened then i basically my i had a very good relationship with manager and hr then i discussed with me and i got to know that he, that guy has a basically a fake experience he has added somewhere okay also so uh, i'm talking about my second company so this is not this is not the first one the second company and the important thing is he has faked some of the experience so immediately the, he got fired so this is one of the negative experience which i have seen personally right and for positive point of view which i am going to talk about uh, there are employees i knew right in my third company or fourth company i knew there are employees who have basically faked some of the experience and they are doing absolutely fine okay because the verification was passed somehow i don't know how they have this uh, risk it how they are managed to create uh, the epf account and everything but i am not sure about this how they exactly they have done but it got passed which is in, i think interesting which i have seen that's why i thought okay i'll give you both the scenarios multiple people i have seen with fake experience who are working multiple people i have seen who got rejected they got blacklisted uh, i remember in uh, one of the mnc where i have worked on uh, that guy was basically blacklisted even the same details uh, is also shared with the other hr so that uh, generally it happens mostly in the service based company product based company basically what they do is they basically simply tell you to just uh, resign right now or for example today or tomorrow and uh, they will not discuss with anyone this is what i have seen which is very good for product based company right that's what happened so physical verification may occur this is very very important you need to remember candidate will caught with fake credentials or fake experience uh, they got fired within few days this is what happened. if you have a positive 
एवरीथिंग इज ओके फॉर यू राइट नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम वेरिफिकेशन इज वेरी स्मूथ इट इज यू जस्ट हैव टू अपलोड एवरीथिंग एंड दे विल जस्ट वेरीफाइड विल गो वेरी सिंपली अनदर फाइव परसेंट पॉइंट फाइव और पॉइंट टू परसेंट और समथिंग वेन एवर देर इज अ फेक एक्सपीरियंस और समथिंग पीपल गेट कॉट सो शुड वी एड इट और नॉट द आंसर इज डिपेंड्स ऑन यू इट्स योर पर्सनल चॉइस इफ यू वॉन्ट पीस ऑफ माइंड देन यू कैन अपलाई एज ए फ्रेशर इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट की सर आई एम अ वेरी रिस्की गाय आई कैन टेक दिस रिस्क और दट इज गो विद दट अगेन दिस इज योर पर्सनल चॉइस सो आफ्टर सक्सेसफुली पासिंग थ्रू द वेरीफिकल वेरीफिकेशन यू कैन जॉइन दट कंपनी इट इज यू आर अवेलेबल यू आर फुली टाइम अवेलेबल सब्सिक्यूट वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ अदर फॉर एक्साम्पल इफ यू जॉइन वन कंपनी आफ्टर अदर वाइट फॉर एक्साम्पल इट्स योर थर्ड और फोर्थ वेरीफिकेशन वेन एवर दट इज कंपनी राइट इट विल बी वेरी स्मूथ एंड इट विल बी वेरी लेस रिग्रेस एट दिस इज वट माई एक्सपीरियंस पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस वॉज सो दिस वॉज ओवरऑल द पॉइंट्स इन ए कंक्लूजन बट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वेग्राउंड वेरीफिकेशन इज नथिंग बट अपलोडिंग योर डॉक्यूमेंट्स वेयर दे विल डू ए फिजिकल वेरीफिकेशन ऑल्सो एज वेल एज ऑनलाइन वेरीफिकेशन ऑल्सो अबाउट यू दे विल जस्ट वेरीफाई योर डिग्री योर आर यू फेक और नॉट आई मीन हैव यू नॉट सम पीपल आई हैव सीन इन द नेगेटिव सिनारियो सम पीपल गॉट फेल्ड इन टेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ क्लास दे हैव एक फेक इट वेयर दे हैव फिगर इट आउट आई नो हाउ दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पीपल फिगर इट आउट एंड दे विल जस्ट फेल यू फॉर द बैकग्राउंड वेरीफिकेशन दिस इज couple of scenarios where we have i have seen throughout my 14 years experience so this was my overall uh, what we call experience about the background verification this is how exactly it happens in mncs because i have worked with mnc product based both of them i have seen positive and negative scenario both of them so it's your personal choice if you want to add it my personal choice is if you want peace of mind that's fine i have recently launched qa job board you know qa jobs board right i personally have talked to the hrs they said if you have 2 to 3 years of career gap that is fine no problem in that case we will hire you as a fresher that is allowed so if that's the case have a peace of mind you can try it again i have seen people with 2 years 3 year of career gap easily people are able to join and jumping bank after the maternity leave and paternity or even the financial i have seen people 2 years where they have prepared for government job after that they move to this by showing the that okay yes i have a career gap but they are able to join it so it is important you have a peace of mind and try to avoid the fake experience which i personally believe okay so that's over the conclusion i hope you like the video thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye